Hello Bright people, thank you so much for staying tuned into our channel. We are now coming to the end of our month long visit in Kenya and it's been so amazing. We've had so much fun, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it has been an incredible visit and truly, truly we have had a lot of fun, mm -hmm. especially for the boys. Yeah. But for me, mm -hmm. the highlight of this visit is actually the story that we shared on Lin Gugi Show. Yeah, it was so amazing. So a few days ago, days or weeks, I think it was a week ago, yeah? yeah. We shared our story on love, marriage, and raising bo two boys, two amazing boys on the spectrum on the Lingo Show. I hope you guys watched. And it was amazing, you know, sharing our experience. The Lingo team were amazing. Mm -hmm. We really had, let me say, so much fun. As it well. was. <laughs> so I read the comments. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for, you know, the exciting and inspiring comments. And if I'm honest, it has really motivated us to mm, yeah, going yeah, and true sharing our stories and also listening to your stories as well yeah yeah and to add on to that you know what yeah. the lnn team actually yeah. they have subscribed to our channel in very very huge I numbers know. the love has been incredible it's yeah. amazing. It is amazing we have actually gained over 1500 subscribers in five days yeah i'm actually looking at the moment you know and i can see here we are at 2.29 Wow, wow. It's just amazing. Like, I'm <laughs> so out of work. So, guys, that has been amazing support from the Lingo team. You know, I thought when we, we, we talk about the, the stories, okay, people are used to the stories about love and marriage and yeah. everything, you yeah. know, and all, all the stories about that, people are used to them. But I actually thought when we talked about autism, yeah. uh, we are likely to get, you know, people are not ready to have that conversation. Yeah. But it is amazing to see there are, you know, a lot of parents raising kids with autism. Yeah. There are special needs educators yeah. here yeah. in Kenya. <laughs> and there are also people, a lot of people who are excited actually to know yeah. how can we understand these kids. Yeah. And people, not just the kids, there are a lot of adolescents and even adults, adults. on the spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it has been very, very exciting. People coming out, sharing the love and showing that they are ready to have this conversation. Yeah, it feels so amazing also to know we are not alone, yeah. mostly as a mom. <laughs> it feels so amazing to know there are other parents out there who understand. Like, I always say, you know, when you're going through it, it's different. Yeah. It's really different when someone else who is going through it to come and tell me, you know what, Kate, mm -hmm. I know what you're going through. So we cannot thank these people enough, you know. It's been amazing. <laughs> you guys joining this yeah. family of ours also. It means the world to us. And we are aiming to make a world, the world, you know, mm -hmm. a better place for people, uh, persons. Yeah, in the oh, spectrum. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. And, and you know, going through the comments, yes. you remember we actually now said, can we watch our story? Yeah. You know, can <laughs> we sit and be the spectators in our story and listen to ourselves? Mm. And you know what? We actually watched the video yeah. and we started to reflect. Mm -hmm. I know it is our story, but <laughs> we have gone through much. I know, right? But what we have gone through, mm -hmm. it has actually built us. Yeah. It is inspiring. Yeah. And right now we are actually very, very motivated. So having reflected on the whole story. Mm -hmm. so, 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 babe, what is our first reflection? Uh, so, for me, the first thing is love. Mm -hmm. I won't sugarcoat. Raising kids, you know, with autism, and not just autism, you know, there's ADHD, dyslexia. It's not an easy job. It's yeah. very ch challenging. Mm -hmm. But a house full of love actually makes the difference. Wow, it, I like that. Yeah, it <laughs> makes the parents feel, you know, more mm -hmm. motivated. And also, not mm -hmm. just our kids, you're talking about all the other kids. Yeah. When, when there is love, the kids, they feel validated, their self esteem mm -hmm. is high. They feel they matter and their emotions also matter. Yeah. So the one thing I love about uh, our boys is the courage that they okay. have in them. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that I really like about them. Yeah. So this will not be possible if mm -hmm. there was, you know, our house was not that comfortable, secure space. Oh, that, I love yeah. that. So what I'm trying to say, if mm -hmm. love wasn't there, mm -hmm. I don't think our boys would be who they are right now. Okay. So the most important thing, first and foremost, is love. So mm -hmm. the love you share with your partner, mm -hmm. you're able to, let me say, project this love to your kids. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So basically what you are 
saying is that parents with kids with autism, yeah. they should actually start with loving themselves. Yeah. You as a parent, you matter. Yeah. Love your partner. Your partner is your support system. Yeah. And basically, you too, when you love your kids, you build a whole family system full of love. Yeah, because the thing here is that if you guys love yourselves first, mm -hmm. you're able, let me say, to keep each other safe. Because guys, yeah. it's not easy. You need each other's support. You need each other's love. And when there is love among you two, then it's easy. Let me say, it makes it easier with the kids as well. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love the love. <laughs> the love is very important, guys. Remember, Interesting. Yeah. So tell us the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and for me, what stood out from our story is the divine understanding. Yeah. And actually, like using the word divine because where? To understand the challenges that go on in a family raising like two, even one, even kids three, four, or three, you know, yeah. Three with stories of three, four, and you guys. Whoa. Yeah. You're doing amazing. <laughs> to to yeah. come across and get into terms with that understanding, it is not easy for a parent. In fact, it's not easy to just accept that your kid has autism. Yeah. It is actually easy to deny, mm -hmm. go into denial mode. Yeah. But again, the child needs to be supported. Mm -hmm. You know, understanding provides compassion. Yeah. Remember, com being compassionate and empathetic with this child is very, very important. Yeah. This Compassion was actually very, very important for us with someone like Jaden, you know. We needed to see our child as a person who has a rightful space in this world. Yeah. And that paved the way for us to start seeing his positive aspects. Mm. You know, when, when you are going through like autism meltdowns, a lot of challenges, the kid doesn't know how to live with badly, you are likely to lose a lot of, you know, even your mental health will yeah. actually be very, very negative. But with the compassion and understanding, you get the deeper meanings and you start giving these kids the new experiences. Mm. I actually don't think we could have helped them mm. without understanding who they are That's so true. and having faith that they can be what they are destined to be. That is so yeah. true. Wow, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the third thing that actually came out from our mm -hmm. story is focusing on family strengths. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. as you know me, people yeah. say I have OCD. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. people, maybe I have under OCD. I know. You like everything so organized. <laughs> so yeah. I'm a very organized person. Mm -hmm. But then this has really helped me, you know, mm -hmm. mostly in mapping out Jaden's patterns and helping him with his daily activity. Jaden loves his routines. Yeah, yeah. He loves his things, you know, mm -hmm. being put if it's not like that, yeah. you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I am not an organized person or a person who really appreciates the routine. So yeah, I used to get very, very frustrated. I know, and I thank God because, you know, let me say, God has given you the grace <laughs> to be very, very patient, which has been very helpful, mostly dealing with, you know, the challenging behaviors. And yeah. also, let me just appreciate you and say thank you so much also for taking time, you know, because let me say you came to mm -hmm. us and you were happy and willing to learn how we were doing things and it must have been very difficult. It is the love, but, the, the, the what you said yeah, first. But I thank God for giving you the grace to be patient yeah. because this patience has really helped me in managing the challenging behavior mostly with Justin. Yeah. Yeah. So we understand both our boys have different, you know, they have their own differences. Yeah. But then... We encourage them to live confidently and limitlessly, you know. I love that. Yes, limitlessly <laughs> is, the, you know, is the whole idea. But mm -hmm. us working together is what yeah. has made that possible. Yeah. Wow. So, um, that's that's really so deep. For you. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what you have said there is that these two boys, they are on spectrum. Yeah. And each of them experiences things differently. So it's like we, we, we are in a family, but a very diverse family. Yeah. But then again, we have to appreciate this diversity mm -hmm. and give each of these two boys their yeah. unique experiences yeah. and show them you yeah. actually matter. Yeah. So I, I think that helped with what you said about confidence. Yeah. So they, are, they can express themselves they can. and they don't feel worried, yeah. anxious, or have the fear. You know, the fact that they know they got us. Yeah. You know, there's one phrase I always hear Jaden telling Justin when Justin mm -hmm. is upset. 
This thing is always like, you know what, Justin, mommy got you, or daddy got you. Oh. Yeah. It, 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 it heartfelt. Melts. Yeah, I know. Melts my heart. Like, <laughs> yes, we got you guys. <laughs> yeah, and that brings us to the fourth reflection. Yeah. And for me, I think the whole appreciation that a child with autism, they can live independently, that works miracles. Mm -hmm. You know, at first, Jaden and Justin were so needy, and we couldn't have them to do things on their own, yeah. either because they had fears. They were depressed sometimes, yeah. a lot with anxiety. Yeah. But working with them, and as mommy has said, having this love, you know, showing them that you can live as an individual person and go through your own things your own way and we are going to support you. Yeah. This has built their confidence. Yeah. They yeah. can express themselves. Yeah. And actually what I love them is showing us their own individuality. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They can try new things through exposure therapies. And now they increasingly lead their own way of doing things, activities. Sometimes they don't even need us. Yeah. And that has been so incredible. It has. Yeah. You know, it's so amazing, you know. And I think I can say the last yeah. day uh -huh. <laughs> and final thing is, let me tell you guys, raising these special angels mm -hmm. changes you as a person. But then you know what? I think... Most parents find it challenging because they don't embrace the change. Oh. Yeah, embrace the change. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you, this might be even, what is it called, what you needed in yeah. your life to move to the next uh -huh. level. For example, someone like me, when Jaden was first, early, early diagnosis, if you watched your, our previous video, you will see the early diagnosis when he was first diagnosed, you were... I was there busy trying to read just to understand him. Mm. There was no further plan. It was yeah. just reading to understand him and to be able to help him out. And man, oh man, yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting lost in it. I ended up reading about the brain. I ended up just having a complete 360 career change. I used to work in hospitality. Yeah. But then now look at me. I'm into psychology. And let me say, I love the growth and I thank God. You know, we always ask God, you know, why is this happening to me? Why is this? And God is there like, you know what, shut up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. ride the storm. Just ride the storm. Let it take you wherever it will take you. Let me not preach today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was almost going to say preach, preach. Huh? <laughs> let me not preach today, but let me tell you, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So, embrace the, 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 the changes. Change. Uh -huh. You know, grow with your child. I always say I grew up with Jaden. Grow with him or yeah. her. You know, and I think it's always, you know, to joyous, to adapt the change, mm -hmm. and grow and see what comes of it. You know? I love that. We just can't, let me, I always say, we just can't always complain, complain, complain. You know, the more you complain, the more you become frustrated, the more you don't help your child, the more your mental health is at risk. Yeah. Embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. the thing here is, look, as a parent raising kids with autism, yeah. you are going to be frustrated. You are, you are going to be tested. Yeah. You are going to face a lot of challenges. You're going to cry. But always remember, yeah. there is no big mountain that cannot be climbed. Mm -hmm. You just have to do very good preparation. Yeah. You just have to be mentally ready. Yeah. And like my wife has said, adapt, yeah. change, mm -hmm. and grow. Actually, these kids, mm -hmm. they might be your opportunity to greatness. Exactly. You know, exactly. And the more you sit back and mm -hmm. complain, the longer it takes you to reach your greatness. So we are not complaining? No, embrace it. All right. It's good for your mental health. I feel like high-fiving you. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so guys, we have a lot coming. Yeah. So remember to share and subscribe. And... We are really loving the comments, like, as you can see, I can't keep up. Yeah. But I am trying my best. Thank you so much, Limbogi. Thank you so much for sharing our YouTube channel. And thank you guys also for sharing with your friends. I've seen people tagging, people talking about it. Yeah. And it's just amazing. Yeah. 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 And for us, yeah. with your love, we'll continue sharing content around autism awareness, yeah. advocacy, and our parental experiences, yeah. and also building helpful strategies for raising children with autism. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>